So thank you so much, Kevin, for joining us today. Um, I was wondering if you could just introduce yourself, tell us what your job title is, who you work for, if you've ever been affiliated with the CESU or LTER networks in any way, and how long you've been working for an agency. Sure. And Paige, again, uh, it's a pleasure. Uh, my name is Kevin Kniff. Um, I'm the Chief Sustainability Officer for the Miccosukee Tribe of Indians of Florida. And I've been in this role here with Miccosukee for uh, going on about a, um, a year and a half at this point. So I still kind of consider myself new in this role. But um, um, in my past, I uh, am a product of the Florida Coastal Everglades LTER, where I was a graduate student at Florida International University starting in 1999. Awesome. Thank you so much. And so I was hoping you could tell us a little bit about what a typical day in your life looks like working for the Mikazuki Drive. Sure. So I'm very fortunate to have an extremely dynamic job. Um, and to say that there is a typical day is, is really uh, inaccurate. No day is a typical day. So as Chief Sustainability Officer, uh, my role is... Well, there are a couple of different hats that I wear. Um, the first is probably to bring a degree of leadership to the Miccosukee Environmental Protection Agency and the MEPA, which is the acronym Miccosukee Environmental, Miccosukee EPA, consists of three separate departments, a uh, water resources department, a fish and wildlife department, and a land resources department, which also houses the Tribal Historic Preservation Office. I serve to facilitate the government to government relationship between the tribe and federal agencies and work to maintain um, positive collaborative working relationships with state and other local uh, agencies where there isn't that sovereign to sovereign, you know, uh, mm -hmm. trust relationship that way. I spend a tremendous amount of my time um, in various meetings <laughs> for all the different uh, component Everglades restoration project planning efforts and uh, assessment efforts. The third part that I'd say that is, is most prominent is that all of this information factors into my uh, ability and trust to uh, advise the Miccosukee Business Council on all of these matters for the purpose of the tribe helping to establish positions and policies when it comes to um, natural resources and cultural resource protection um, and the manner that the tribe is, is seeking to be that leader within Everglades management and restoration. So how much paper versus people work do you do? Well, if I had to break it down, um, I'd say that the, um, the actual people work is much more prominent in, in respect that I spend a tremendous amount of my time actually communicating with people. Mm -hmm. um, so if I had to break down the time that I'm spending at my computer, either writing or reviewing um, paperwork or emails or whatever the case would be, compared to the time that I spend speaking to people on a day-to-day, -day, I'd say it's probably 40% um, written, 60% uh, speaking. Nice. Awesome. And so for our, my last question for you, it's a question that we're asking all of our panelists. So when reflecting on a typical day uh, that you experience working for the Miccosukee tribe, what is one piece of advice that you would have given yourself from the beginning of your career journey? If I had to offer a piece of advice to myself um, going back again is to remain patient um, remain focused on what you have right in front of you with an eye set toward the future and always be willing and ready to take advantage of the opportunities that are presented to you and to do so boldly um, and to do so in a way that is very, very much um, um, being true to yourself. Thank you so much. And thank you so much, Kevin, for joining us for our, our little interview today. And we look forward to hearing more from you on the panel. Well, Paige, thank you very, very much. I'll look forward to participating in the panel here in, uh, in short order.